you can always actually open that closer, okay? Uh, we're gonna come back to that back. And if you wanna be in the same area that my opponent is really defending, not, for me not to pull my foot out. I cannot fully get to the back and go all the way on top of him. So when I use my foot that is uh, stuck to hook his knee and force the mount position. And so here, cross the sleeve, and goes underneath and cuts my own wrist. I'm gonna break the grip to the side. I'm gonna go for the elbow or the tricep. I'm gonna loop my right elbow so I can push his arm against his body. Okay, so I have a better frame. I'm gonna bring the knees to my chest to break his posture. Hand goes around his back, gapping the position tight. I'm gonna use my left thigh to shrimp and close my guard all the way on the back. Once I get the back, extend my upper body, sweep the mat with my elbow, so I can then pose my elbow. Now, in this moment, I'm gonna try to go to his back, but he's really trapping my leg, okay? So I'm to try to pull it out, my foot gets stuck in here. Okay, so I wanna use my right foot to open my toes, so I'm gonna hook his thigh. My left knee is gonna slide to his head, and then my two hands are gonna go on the ground to give me support now to push myself back. One, two, boom, forcing the mount position. I need to get it up in a technical mount right here. Right knee up, left knee is already next to the head, that's why I slide it to the head at the beginning. And now when I connect to a Kimura grip, to force my partner to stay sideways, turn my body to the right, left leg slides toward the head, side position, he grabs his own wrist. Don't forget to dump your guard, pressure, bicep slicer right here, to force him to let go, flip the hand, I'm back to finish right there.